Hey, let's go down to the stadium and we'll have ourselves an 0 16 parade. We'll drink some beer and have some bratwurst and some pierogies. Yeah, I'm from Cleveland, yeah. Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland Browns, perfect season. And they're going to have a parade, the perfect season parade. Because of the 0 16 winless Cleveland Browns, they're going to have a parade. This parade would not be happening if we didn't have a horrible, corrupt owner, such as Jimmy Haslam, who was the owner of the Cleveland Browns. He's also the owner of Flying J gas stations. This guy is the epitome of a billionaire who has too much money and can buy whatever he wants when he shouldn't be able to. Cleveland, people of Cleveland, please do not have this parade. We're already a laughing stock around the world. If you have this parade, you're going to be reinforcing the mistake on the lake label we've been given for the last hundred years. And you're going to also reinforce and perpetuate the podunk image we have as a town. Why would you do this? Why would you even attend it? It's, a, it's madness. If you look in the dictionary, if you look up the word podunk in the dictionary, and I'm from Cleveland, so I'm going to say this, but if you look up the word podunk in the dictionary, there's a picture of Cleveland right next to it. And you're just perpetuating that image that we have to the people outside of this world. And I'll tell you something else about Cleveland. Once you leave like a 100-mile radius of Cleveland, no one's talking about Cleveland. And the only things they do know about it are our bad football team, and we're called Mistake in the Lake, and that the river caught on fire, and we had a mayor whose hair caught on fire, and all this weird stuff. That's all people know about it. And that's what you're perpetuating. You're, pep you're perpetuating these horrible ideas with this 0-16 winless Browns parade. Browns parade. Why are you doing this? Stupid. You're making a huge mistake. I guarantee you. Why in the world do you think professional athletes don't want to come here? Professional athletes do not want to come to Cleveland, especially on a football team. There's obvious reasons why they don't want to come to the football team. Because our, our ownership is awful and there's no good coaches. It's bad enough that we have like the black version of the Pillsbury Doughboy as a coach. You know, you poke him in the stomach. He looks like a Pillsbury Doughboy in the side. And a hillbilly gas station a, a, and a hillbilly gas station attendant as an owner. And now you want to have a parade to, to celebrate or to be sarcastic and, and poke the Browns in the side because they went 0-16? I, I don't get that at all. I don't understand it. I mean, what have you got to achieve by doing that? What's, what's the point? There's no point to something like that. Hugh Jackson, if you do jump in the lake because you went 0-16, please, for the sake of all Clevelanders, please do us a favor and put on a pair of cement shoes before you take the plunge and take Jimmy Haslam with you so the two of you can bottom feed with a Lake Erie carp. Cleveland, the people of Cleveland, have some self-respect and don't have this parade. If you're going to have it, you've got to go down to 76 Lou Groza Boulevard in Berea, Ohio, 44017, and have the parade there in front of their building and protest with protest signs demanding Jimmy Haslam sell this team to someone who knows something about football and about running a business. Please do us all a favor. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a parade, do it in front of him. Don't do it. They're gonna you're gonna pussyfoot around First Energy Stadium like a bunch of little podunk kids. Hey, I'm a podunk. Hey, I'm a podunk guy. I like to I like to parade because our team went 0-16, isn't that great? Hey, let's go down to the stadium and we'll have ourselves an 0-16 parade. We'll drink some beer and have some bratwurst and some pierogies. Yeah, I'm from Cleveland, yeah.